Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. So Flamingo made this really bad survival game, and today, I'm gonna try it. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Roblox. Full disclosure, I'm sick, and I'm sucking on a cough drop right now because my throat feels like pure fire, and not in the good way. Although I don't know how fire in your throat could ever be a good thing. Either way, it's not fun being sick. But even less fun than being sick is being sick with a one-year-old. Poor Seth. He's, he's not feeling good either, so. We're miserable together. But dad has to get some work done. We're playing survival the SpongeBob the Killer. And if you guys are unfamiliar, survival game dev is actually the YouTuber Flamingo. He made a video about creating this specific game. It was actually really interesting because I've never actually seen how the Roblox studio works. And I was like fascinated by it. But it's a garbage game. And he made it garbage intentionally. Basically, the whole reason he made this game was to see how bad of a game he could make and still have it do tremendous numbers. And as you can see, 10 million plays in 10 days. That's insane. These survival games are taking over Roblox. It's absurd. Use a parachute. We should definitely use a parachute. Is this person a parachute? Can I use this person as a parachute? I don't know, but either way, I've been saved. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the parachute. This is not how parachutes typically work, but I like it. I like it a lot. So I saw that he made this game. I saw that it had an insane number of plays. So I figured why not just play it? I mean, it looks real dumb and I kind of love it. I love how buff SpongeBob is. He has definitely been working out and it is incredibly impressive. Also his back muscles are kind of like protruding outside of his square sponginess. And it's weird. And he also just jumped off of the level. Okay, well, we win, I guess. It blows me away that these survival games have become so popular. And that's basically what Flamingo was testing. I think he put some advertising into it. He said like 40,000 Robux he spent on uh, promoting this game. And that's just crazy. And these games are all over the place. And it literally took him like five minutes to make this. You'll never have enough Robux. These hat won't fix your insecurities. <laughs> you got me. You definitely got me there. I really thought that by wearing this cool fedora, I could feel more complete. And for a moment, I had it. But now, I just feel empty on the inside. Maybe a bandana will make me feel better. It does. It definitely makes me feel no different. Maybe a ruby fedora. Maybe if I put on all the hats. I need all of the hats and headphones. Preferably Bluetooth sunglasses. Now, I am complete. Let's parachute down on top of SpongeBob and destroy him from above. We have the high ground. Obi-Wan knew it. Anakin knew it. SpongeBob must know it. Or not. I can change my face? That's kind of cool. I want to be this guy. Football man. Angry football man. You can't actually see my face because I'm wearing so many cool hats. What is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. SpongeBob. What have you done to your dear old friend, Patrick? Oh, he is so very, very dead. So dead. <laughs> well, that's, that's upsetting. Hello, Galaxy Girl 3. Um, you have a cool bandana that I like a lot. Also, your bones are showing. It's, it's a little weird. What other stupid stuff can we do here? Well, we can dance on the dead body of Patrick Stark. That's incredibly messed up. Who's the real monster here? Maybe it's not SpongeBob. Maybe it's me. Sickness has a weird way of making you act in ways that uh, you wouldn't typically act. 
that's what I'm learning. I'm hyped up on Tylenol. Woohoo! Power ups. We definitely need power ups, like turning your body into bones. That doesn't. I don't feel more powerful. I feel far more exposed than I was before. I mean, I'm naked in front of possibly dozens of people. It's, it's very, very uncomfortable for me. Only noobs play this game. It's true. It's true. Here I am. Hello. Hello, fellow kids. I am a noob. Last time I played one of these survival games, I had a unicorn, and I'm incredibly disappointed that all I have is a rainbow magic carpet and not a unicorn. I feel incredibly incomplete. So not only am I a naked skeleton with lots of cool hats, but I'm also a naked skeleton with a lot of cool hats and no unicorn. Hello, SpongeBob. Hello, sir. You are murdering me. Oh, you're standing on my head. Oh, actually, do you think we can make him fly? Let's let's try to let's try to take him with us on a on a magic carpet ride. Or or not. Hey, look, it's my face. I changed it. What other weird faces? Oh, I can have a rose. Ole. Right? Like a like a bull tamer? What what are they called? I wanna try and take SpongeBob with me on my magic carpet ride. I feel like he would really appreciate it. I feel like he's the kind of sponge creature. No, SpongeBob, he died. Do not worry, friends, he will return. What? He's back. Hello, SpongeBob, come with me. Fly with me. He's just so angry and so strong. All right, that's enough messing around with super strong Hulk Bob. As I understand it, there's a bit more to this and I think it's right here. Oh yes, okay. Oh gosh, we've made it. You are mine forever. Hello, it's the camping thing. And there's four of them. Scratch that, five. Actually, I lied. There's like 12 of them. There are some in the ceiling looking down at us and I hate it. So am I stuck here forever? Is this? where I will remain for the remainder of my life? It's quite possible, yes. Can I ride your your rainbow carpet? Please, save me. Let me, let me, let me go. Let me go. Come on. This is actually super creepy. Whoa, what is going on here? Why does this, oh gosh. This one's head is not attached to his body. How does that even happen? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. You know, actually guys, it's kind of cozy down here. I kind of like it. I don't have to worry about rain or snow or actually any form of weather because I live underground now. Hello, welcome to our cool club. This is where all the cool kids hang out. Oh, you've, you, whoa. We, when he bounced on that one, its head moved. Or am I seeing things? That is possible. Their heads do move. What the heck? I had no idea. It's amazing. Are these just eyes? No, they're they're definitely not just eyes. They're heads too. So it seems that there's legitimately no way out of this cave. The only way out is via exiting the game, which seems appropriate. Unless you just want to stay here. I mean, it ain't that bad. Look at this dude. He's given me his magic carpet. My hero. But I'm not going to escape. I'm just going to get a closer look at these weird heads that are attached to the cave walls. Can you believe 10 million plays on this game? It's unbelievable. I got to get in on this Roblox dev stuff. Stick a treehouse in the middle of a green field. Put a super buff red SpongeBob. Totally different game. That's using my good old noggin. Or once again, it's just the Tylenol talking. <laughs> Life is short. I like these very obscure and strange messages that he's left for all of the patrons of this game. Dead Patrick being the, the greatest of the attractions here. At least he died with a smile on his face. <laughs> Poor Patrick. SpongeBob, you're different. Smash! Dead. Dead Patrick. End of story. Just wait for it. The SpongeBob movie. But as far as I can tell, uh, there is nothing else to be seen 
in this game. This is the extent of survival the SpongeBob the killer. Make sure to favorite, like, and play, of course. Oh no! I got killed by SpongeBob and it respawned me into the cave. <laughs> oh man. Well, that seems appropriate. This is, after all, where I belong. I am now cave people. And I accept that, and I'm okay with it. But there you have it, guys. Flamingo's very bad. Survival, the SpongeBob, the killer. And for those of you who think I'm being mean by calling it very bad, he admits himself that it's very bad. That was kind of part of the joke. Flamingo seems like a perfectly affable fella. He was just testing a concept and it, uh, it worked. It definitely worked. I'm just gonna hang out in my cave here. I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but this is my new life. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna go pass out because I'm tired and like I said, my throat hurts. Maybe eat some soup. I had soup for lunch. It was delicious. And of course, as a quick reminder, if you guys uh, purchase Robux ever, you can use star code KEYIN, K-E-Y-I-N. It's free. You use it at checkout and you help support the channel directly. I very much appreciate it, but that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, and of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.